Hi, it's Andre from the EagleSoft Field Guide coming back to you with a quick video on now that we've created a new patient, how to create, how to connect that patient to a family. And this is pretty simple and this is uh, just some of the, th the really quick steps that I go through when I talk to people about how we connect patients together into a family, quote unquote, how they all get into the same account. And so really simple, really easy. I'm just going to use a, an example that you can apply to your office and you can uh, utilize this idea to expand to other situations. So really what we want to start with is a traditional basic patient. So this is Sally. She is a patient, a policyholder, and a responsible party. Remember those three things only mean, patient means she gets treatment, policyholder means she's the one that actually holds the insurance, and then responsible party means she gets the bill. So let's just say she's a single woman who has her own policy, she wants to get her own bill, and she's a patient. Easy enough, those three checks happen. Sally is a patient, Sally holds the insurance, Sally gets the bill, simple. Now, let's marry off Sally. So let's marry off Sally to Bob. Bob now becomes a patient. Sally is the policyholder. And let's just say, say for the sake of it, Bob is this male chauvinist who wants to get the bill. <laughs> let's, let's call it that, okay? So now Bob is a patient. Sally holds his insurance. Bob gets the bill, all right? So easy enough, Sally is still a patient. Sally still holds the insurance. And Bob now gets the bill. Easy. All we had to do is check the boxes and then we have to determine who is the responsible party for Bob, and that would be, I'm sorry, for, for Sally, and that would be Bob. Really easy. So now let's throw another piece to this puzzle. They have a child, Bobby. So Bobby is now a patient. The policyholder is still Sally. She's the one that holds the insurance, and the responsible party is Bob. He gets the bill, simple. Bobby gets treatment, he's a patient. Sally holds the insurance, all right? and then Bob gets the bill. All we have to do is make sure we connect those dots so that we say who gets the bill, who holds the insurance. Really simple. Let's make it more complicated. All right, Sally and Bob divorce. So Sally's still a patient, Sally's a policyholder, Sally is a responsible party for herself. Okay, now let's look at the child, Bobby. Bobby is a patient, the policyholder is still Sally, and the responsible party, even though they're divorced, can be Bob. Bob has always paid the bill. Bobby, Bob will still pay the bill, all right? But Bob is no longer connected to Sally. They have their own separate accounts. See, the responsible party checked for both of them. So the responsible party is checked again for Sally. All of her history came over back to her account, all right? And now they're separate, all right? And all of her history is, is contained in her account and Bob's history is contained in his account. Now, this could go either way. You know, Bobby, the child could be responsible party could be Sally, could be Bob. That's not up to us, that's up to the courts, all right? But this is just a really simple way of looking at this to find out how we connect the dots so that we can see how these things happen. We don't have to create a new version of anybody. All we have to do is turn on those links between responsible party and policyholder. Very, very simple, doesn't matter how it happens, but this is how we make these things work. That's it, hopefully that helps. Any questions, you let me know, thanks.